Hi F2 and welcome to our maths lesson. The first thing I want you to do is to think about what day is it today? While you're doing that, let's sign the days of the week. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. What day is it today? If you said Friday, then you're right. My turn. Today is Friday. Your turn. Well done. Under these boxes, there are some numerals hiding. What I want you to do is look carefully at the numeral that I'm revealing and then tell your grown up what it says. Yes, it's three. That's right, it's nine. Yes. It's one. Yep, yeah, this is five. That's right, it's eight. Yes, it's six. That's right, this one is four. Yes, it's seven. That's right, it's zero. Well done, this is two. We know that there are many different ways that we can show numbers. What numbers do these represent? Let's have a look at them together. Here is a Numicon piece. It has three holes on one side and three holes on the other side. Did you work out which number it represents? That's right, it's six. What about this one? I've seen this pattern somewhere before. I know, I've seen it on a dice. It has two dots on one side, two dots on the other side, and one dot in the middle. But do you know what number it represents? Yes, it's five. Now it's your turn to have a go. Pause the video and have a look at the different number representations. Can you work out what numbers they represent? Let's have a look at these two together. So here we have a Numicon piece. It has four holes on one side and four holes on the other side. Did you work out what number it represented? Well done if you said eight. What about this pattern? I've seen this pattern on a dice too. It also looks a little bit like a pattern from a Numicon piece. It has three dots on one side and three dots on the other side. But what number does that represent? That's right, it's six. Now pause the video and have a go at these number representations. Okay, now let's look at them together. So here we have a 10 frame. Let's count how many objects are on the 10 frame. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This represents number seven. Let's have a look at the stars. So here we have large stars and small stars, but that doesn't matter. We need to count how many stars there are all together. Let's do it together. One, two, three, four, Five. The number it represents is five. Well done if you got it right. Today's job is to count forward in ones. And how we're going to do that is by counting these objects and writing the numerals underneath. Let's get started. How many triangles can you see here? I can see one triangle. I'm going to write number one underneath. Let's have a look at the next one. One, two. I have two triangles. I'm going to write number two here. Let's have a look at the next one. One, two, three. I have three triangles. Let's write number three. And here I have one, two, three, four triangles. 
let's write number four. Let's have a look, another look at those numbers. So here I have one, two, three, four. My numbers are getting bigger every time. I'm counting forwards. Here I have one. One more than one is two. One more than two is three. One more than three is four. Let's have a look at this one. This time it doesn't start with number one. Let's count the numbers, count the objects and find out how many there are. One, two, three. There are three triangles. What about this, co this column? One, two, three, four. There are four triangles. Let's write the number four. How about this one? One, two, three, four, five. Let's write the number five. And what about this one? One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's write the number six. Let's have another look at those numbers. So we have three, four, five, six. The numbers are getting bigger. We're following our number sequence. So here I have three. One more than three is four. One more than four is five. One more than five is six. Let's have a look at this one. This time, I want you to pause the video and I want you to have a go at this together with your grown up. Have a look at the objects on the screen, count them and tell your grown up what number should go beneath them. Okay, now let's do it together. Let's have a look at the first column. One, two. There are two triangles. Let's write the number two. How many here? One, two, three. Let's write number three. And this time, one, two, three, four. Let's write number four. And here, there are one, two, three, four, five let's write number five let's have another look at those numbers so we've got two three four five our numbers are getting bigger and they're following our number sequence here is number two one more than two is three one more than three is four one more than four is five did you get it right? Well done if you did. This time, we're looking at our number sequence in a different way. We have the numerals at the bottom and we have the object at the top to help us. I'm going to have a look at this frame first. See if you can help me. So here I have the numeral two. And here are two objects. The numeral is missing here. But I have one, two, three objects. Here I have the numeral four, and I have one, two, three, four objects. But what number is missing? Have a think. What number comes next after we say number two in our number sequence? Two, three, Four. Did you get three? Well done if you did. I know it's three because three is one more than two. One more than two is three. And I have three objects that I can count if I'm not sure. Have a look at this one. This time I have six, three, 
then I have a number missing, then I have eight. What number goes here? Hmm, one more than six is, I'm not sure. Let's count the objects to help us. One, two, three, four, five, six, and one more is seven. The missing number is seven. Well done if you got that right. Have a look at this with your grown up. Pause the video while you do that. Okay, now let's have a look at it together. So we have four, five, but what comes next? One more than five is, do you know? Let's look at the dots to help us. I don't think I need to count these dots because I know that pattern. Three on that side and three on that side. It's number six, just like our Numicon pattern. Do you get six too? Well done if you did. Okay, this time I've taken away the dots to make it a little bit trickier. We're going to have a look at our number sequence and we're going to see if we can find the missing number. Let's count along our number sequence. Zero, one, two, three, four. One more than four is, do you know? That's right, it's five. Well done if you got it right. What about this time? Let's count along the number sequence. Oh, this one's a bit trickier because the missing number is not at the end. Let's count along together. One, two, three, four. One more than four is, did you say five? If you did, well done, you was right. Let's just check and count all of that number sequence just to make sure. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's right. Now it's your turn. Pause the video and have a go with your grown up. Okay, now let's do it together. Let's count along the number sequence. Five, six, seven, one more than seven is, did you say eight? Well done if you did. Just to make sure, let's go back and let's count along the number sequence just to check that we're right. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's right. Have a look at this problem. Alex wrote the number sequence. What is she correct? I want you to pause the video, have a look at the number sequence with your grown up, and then use the sentence at the bottom to help you to say whether she's correct or not correct. Can you work out why? Tell me using this sentence. Okay, now that you've had a go, let's have a go together. Let's look at the number sequence. Two, three, Four, five, seven, eight. Ooh, that doesn't sound right. Alex is not correct. My turn. Alex is not correct. Can you say that? Well done. But now let's find out why. Two, one more than two is three. That's right. One more than three is four. That's right. One more than four is five. That's right. One more than five is six. Oh, that's where Alex got it wrong. One more than five is six. That's our sentence that tells us why Alex got it wrong. My turn. One more than five is six. Your turn. That's right. Alex is not correct. 
one more than five is six. Okay, here's your little job today. What I'd like you to do is keep practicing your numeral formation. We've already practiced writing our numerals one to five, and you can keep practicing that to make sure that you get them right. Then, what I'd like you to do is to have a go at number six. Start at the top on the dot, then you're going to curl all the way around, stopping in the middle of your six. When you stop, the line here should join up with the first line that you drew. Don't go past it. So let's look at that again. Start at the top, draw your line coming down and curling all the way around and then join the line here. Don't forget to take a picture and to send any of your work to our class email address. I can't wait to see how you get on. See you tomorrow.